boy. It is hot out here. Yeah, you know it's hot too. But it feels good. So I want to talk about uh, embracing your shadow. And your shadow is something that we all have physically. We have a shadow. And I feel like internally we have one as well. And that's the one that I'm mainly talking about today. And really what it is, is I guess the parts of you that you don't like or the parts of you that aren't, you know, socially acceptable, stuff like that, you know, maybe parts of us that we run away from. Um, but we all have that, you know, we all have that part of ourselves. You know, we all have those thoughts. We all have those feelings. You know, but I've learned, you know, one of the hardest parts of my life was when I was trying to run away from those things and, you know, being so, I guess, like afraid of it, right? Like when you would get certain thoughts or you would see certain things and think in a certain way and you're like, you know, what's wrong with me? You know, like, why am I thinking like that or whatever? And I think one thing we got to do is stop identifying with any like intrusive thoughts that we get, you know, thinking that we're evil or messed up people, you know, like everybody has those thoughts. And a lot of the times those weird thoughts come from what you consume, you know, whether that be TV, music, you know, like usually it's just forms of media where all that weird stuff comes from. But on, on top of that, there's also the darker part of our personality that, again, everybody has. You know, like we all deal with negative emotions, you know, anger, um, you know, stuff like that, stuff in that category. We all deal with stuff like that. And I've learned that instead of running away from it and being afraid of it and, and, trying to act like it's not there because all that's going to do is create inner turmoil, inner conflict. Um, just sit with it and embrace it. And when you do that, you start to integrate. I should probably do it this way. You start to integrate, right? So it's like, it's basically like the yin and the yang, right? Like the dark and the light. Everybody is made up of both. It's just different percentages you know what i'm saying but i feel like us like our physical body is like the uh it's like the um almost like the space in between that's not really what i want to say but that's all i can say right now so i'm just gonna leave it at that but it's like the body represents the space in between like it's almost like we're the uh we're the uh the final say or the final answer, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we learn to, hopefully we learn to navigate with both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's this term, like everybody knows about duality, right? And again, that's the concept of the dark and light, yin and yang, positive, negative, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but I just learned about this new word, which is triality. T-R-I-3, and that's something that's been, I guess, on my mind like today, you know what I'm saying? And it's something that I need to look more into, but I imagine that it's some degree of acknowledgement and acceptance of both sides and integrating them together and creating, you know, harmony, balance, flow. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just that's just my guess off the top of my head. I don't really know what it means. That just sounds like what it would mean. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. But um, that's just what I think. You know what I'm saying? Right now, that's that's just that's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think that we have to, you know, to become whole and make life be more enjoyable. 
and not have inner conflict, we have to acknowledge and embrace the dark side of us, you know, because when you do it, you start to realize that it's really not even that bad. It's just stuff, just like most things in life are. It's just stuff and things, you know, it's just whether you want to get really, really attached to these things is kind of what determines how your life is going to be. Um, but one way or one tip I can give for sure is to, to, uh, help embrace your dark side and, uh, integrate is definitely some form of meditation because you get to see your thoughts. Like you, hopefully when you've, if you've done it long enough, you start to be able to watch your thoughts. And then when something negative or weird or angry or anything under those in the, in that category pops up, you don't feel attached to it. You can just kind of observe it. And then if you want to go deeper, you can, or you can just let it go by. I mean, I'm saying that like the choice is yours, but <clears throat> having those thoughts, feelings, and emotions doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you like evil or anything like that. It doesn't mean you need help. We all have it. It's just whether you acknowledge and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Just, I would just leave it at that. Like whether you acknowledge it or not, you know, cause you can keep trying to run away from your, uh, the negative part of you, but it's a part of you. So why would you be running away from it? It just doesn't make sense <clears throat> to do that. Like, you just gonna make your life harder. And if you're making your life harder, you're making everybody's life around you, you're making their life harder too. You know? But uh yeah. Main point is figure out how to embrace your shadow, man. If I think of any other ways to embrace your shadow, I'll probably make like a di like a like a second part to this video or something like that. But as of now, that's all I got. So Hopefully, somebody took something from this video. <laughs> and uh, is that a turtle in the water? I'm looking at, y'all see the water. There's like, it looked like it was something coming up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> Peace. Also, if you made it this far in the video, just leave your boy a like, man. That's all I'm asking. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace out.